Hello and welcome to an FPGA Vision video. Today I want to introduce a new feature in our remote lab. Our lab setup is such that we have a video input 720p, 60Hz frame rate, then we have our FPGA and we have the video output. And in the video input we give always the same image and with that most algorithms also give always the same output image and we sample one of these images. The new feature introduces video streaming. So you are now able to see a video sequence. And yeah, let's have a look how that works. You can access this feature with uh, this icon where you see Cyclone 4 video. And at the moment we have it on an external server. This is the interface you see when you start the experiment. You can choose the binary for the FPGA and then you upload the binary and start the experiment. Now the FPGA is programmed by our server in our lab and when this is finished you can press play video and on the screen you see the streaming of the video output. We reduce the frame rate for streaming to save bandwidth. Nevertheless, the FPGA processes the full 60Hz frame rate so the FPGA provides very high computing power for real-time processing. The design you see here is from the machine learning lecture and it detects blue and yellow color. So you see that the FPGA is uh, performing the processing, the signs are detected, but also other regions are detected. So green vegetation, part of the sky, and um, also red areas are detected. And this is something where you can improve the training by providing different training data. This is an exercise that you can do and you can check the result with this video streaming option. And after one minute, the video ends. If you want to see the original video, you can program the default design and again play the video. This is a new option of our remote lab and we are still working on this configuration. So if the system is offline, please check again five minutes later. You find information about availability of the remote lab on our user interface. You have here the section where we give status information. And please also check our homepage where you find news about the remote lab. If you have comments or questions, you can also contact Andrea Schwand, who did uh, the work in implementing this option, and she is happy about your feedback. So, I hope you find the video stream useful, and thank you for your attention.